the partnership originally began, I guess, or was an idea from Nelcor Energy at the time then with the onset of the Muskrat Falls hydroelectric generating project, they approached the Aboriginal groups in Labrador, the three Aboriginal groups, and they asked them to all partner together to f form the LATP and then submit a proposal jointly together to the federal government to train Aboriginals for the employment opportunities generated through the Muskrat uh, Energy Project. Nelcor is the industry partner uh, with the three Aboriginal groups in Labrador, the Nation, the Nazihut, the Community Council. Um, back in 2009, uh, we came together as a group and we came together with, with the vision, uh, developed a training plan, and it was uh, the organization, including uh, the executive director and, and his staff, uh, Keith Jock, that executed that plan. And um, you know, full credit to, to Keith and his staff to, uh, you know, uh, being professional, uh, understanding, knowing the people that uh, uh, were going into the training programs, providing the necessary supports and, um, you know, seeing it through. Presently we had an office in Neen, we had an office in Natwishish on the north coast, on the south coast we have one in Charlottetown. We have our main office here in Happy Valley Goose Bay and we also had a satellite office in Sushi. So between all those communities, originally we were at 18 staff members in total for yes. I think the quality of uh, the individuals that, uh, you know, when they successfully complete the training programs that we that have been put out there, um, they've been able to go to work with the uh, foundation of skills that will, you know, lead for them to be successful. And that's been proven time and time again. My name is Todd Ford. I'm a scaffolding apprentice, third year apprentice now, and I work at the Muskrat Falls Project. LATP program gave me the skills and the know-how to succeed in the trade of scaffolding. And it's uh, provided, uh, money has been excellent, it's uh, provided, uh, it's been able to get me a home and to provide for my family. I'm Carol Best and I'm the Manager of Program Development and Learner Supports with the Labrador Aboriginal Training Partnership here in the Happy Valley Goose Bay office. Our program has been focused on the Muskrat Falls Project, so uh, pretty much all trades related um, activities for the last four years. Provided services to about 1,500 clients since I've been here in 2013 and of those I believe we're well over a thousand uh, jobs. Um, one of the youngest was an, an a new um, young man uh, who graduated from our Powerline Technician Program. Hey, I'm Creep and Ashway, and I work for Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro. It was, uh, it was all right. It was short, uh, Corey for short, and uh, I think it was seven months, usually a nine month course. And uh, what made you choose the wine course? Uh, to be honest, I didn't even know what lineman was before I even stepped foot in the class, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, I think I could probably do this, but, uh, you know, it was kind of iffy at the same time, because, you, you know, you're up, in, you're up 30 feet and you're trying to do this and that. And, and all sorts of weather. Yeah, and all sorts of weather. Because usually how it works is uh, we would be two months here for distribution and two months out in transmission that's in Church Falls. So right when I got hired on, the person that was in distribution went to Church Falls so I basically, you know, swapped out places. I think that's how it worked. So we've recently introduced a um, workforce directory for employers. It's a, a free service that we offer to employers. Uh, for the last four years, we've been gathering data about our clients and putting it in, into a database. And now the employers can access that information. Um, they can pull down resumes and they can check on certifications, uh, safety certs on clients. They can search by a community, uh, by Aboriginal group, and by um, either certification or trade, uh, work history, those types of things. We're absolutely delighted that 
program exists because it creates a pool of workers and uh, you know with mega projects like Muskrat Falls and the valet structures and some of the other things that have been happening in Labrador uh, you know the mining activity took off big in Labrador West for a period of time it appears to be on a rebound now so we're delighted with the program that Jenna has gone through and we're delighted with Jenna. Jenna drives a, a, a class three truck with a tandem axle with a, a air brake endorsement and uh, 20 tons of fuel strapped to her back all day long and slopping around in, in very rough conditions with dirt roads, gravel roads. And uh, I have to be honest with you, she's a star. She's smart, she's ambitious, uh, she's, she's learning a job. Uh, that uh, is, is something that exists around the world and uh, you know I think that Jenna can do whatever she wants to because she displays the attitude that whatever I, I can do it, I can do it. I was planning on doing heavy equipment but the chance came up I guess for truck driving so I looked into it because I didn't know anything about it at the time. Jenna is actually the first female refueler that Woodridge Group has hired and uh, Jenna actually entered her program it was in 2014, it was our commercial driver training program, but she's not new to a non-traditional employment role because she actually worked at the mineral exploration camps in Northern Labrador for several seasons. Jenna participated in our commercial driver program that we offered in the spring summer of 2014 and we paid the tuition and books and those costs but it was the living allowance that LATP provided that allowed Jenna to participate. She didn't have to worry about the bills at home. It was uh, fantastic news to know Nicholas was funded for college. Um, Primarily, he was able to focus on school, and um, although we still maintained a part-time position, while he was going to college, he was able to dedicate his energy to school. Um, I heard about the program through a friend of mine. Um, she had actually called me inquiring if Nicholas had obtained any funding for college, at which point he hadn't. Um, so I was pretty interested in learning about the program. So. Um, LATP, an employee actually from LATP had called me um, explaining what would need to happen in order for him to qualify. Um, I had brought up um, Nicholas's membership card and we filled out the paperwork and pretty much instantly, um, I would say within hours, we received a call saying that he was uh, funded for LATP, which was fantastic news for our family. I think our future is basically that we are an organization comprised of the three Edmonton groups and then we're hoping that as projects come on stream, whether big or small, that industry partners will come to us and then work with us to develop a plan or develop a training strategy as well as an employment strategy to help Aboriginals get into the workforce. So it not only works for the company but it works for Aboriginals as well. So I see LATP as kind of like you know, one avenue is like a one-stop shop for employers as well, you know, who are looking for trained Aboriginals. And also a one-stop shop for, you know, companies who are looking to for Aboriginals, but also have a training aspect and would like to partner with us as well. So.